everybody, it's Diana, your Stamina Up demonstrator. Oh, I forgot to get this. Hold on. I'm not even going to use it. Oh, I'm not even going to use it. Okay, I want to say welcome. And this is episode 53 of my Teach Me Tuesdays videos. And today I'm going to do the cutest, cutest set. And this is actually... Um, for my seasonal class in the mail for October. And it was the From All of Us stamp set. And it is so stinking cute. So I thought I would just come in and share share the cute card and just just have fun with everybody. So um, let me turn the uh, camera over and um, so we can get started. All right, hey everybody, I'm glad to see some some faces already popping in. Okay, hold on. Let me get ourselves all situated. Let's see. There we go. All right, so this is the set. All right, can you see? All right. And what do I do every week? Every week I go into the group. I don't even know why I tell you. I could just talk about anything and you wouldn't know what I was doing. But I'm actually going over into the group. And making sure I can see everybody. All right. Get the lights all good. And we have a little shine, but this will not be here the whole time. I just want to show you the cute stamp set that I'm going to be using. So like I said, this was actually the um, October seasonal stamp set of the month. And this is actually the card. So, um, so it's fun. I'm going to have fun sharing it with you. So let's get started. I am using... For my card base, I am using the gorgeous, gorgeous um, Magenta Madness and Bumblebee. And then I'm using the striped paper from the flowers from every season DSP. It's a six by six pack. Now this is not one that is on sale. So this sale runs till the end of the month. So, but you could use any DSPs. I just chose to use these. The plaids would look cute with it. So even like the artisty brooms. So just whatever, because there are so many little critters on here. There's so many colors going on that any of the DSPs would totally work. But these are just the ones that I chose. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do, is I am going to put my card together so it's ready once I get colored. So I always, so this is actually the pieces that everybody got. Um, of course they were not stamped. This is just stamped ahead of time. So that, um, just to speed it up. And actually, um, Jeff was such a sweetie. He actually did all the die cutting um, for this card and the Christmas one that I'm gonna to show tomorrow for my What You Make in Wednesdays. Now the What You Make in Wednesdays is on my YouTube channel. So that's where you're gonna find those. So I'm like talking like all, giving you so much information. But anyway, so let's get the card assembled. And then this is always just a little bit um, longer than it needs to be just because it's just easier to trim it shorter in case I'm off just a tad when I'm trimming or if the paper's off a little bit. All right, so then I'm just gonna put that on there. I have my ribbon scissors and then I need my snips, which are here. I tried to have everything out and I didn't. All right, so let's see here. I love the magenta. Oh, it is such a fun, fun color. So I love that bright, bright pink. I'm not a lipstick wearer, but I think this would be a really fun lipstick to wear. All right. So these, these are just ready till I get the card colored. 
So, all right, so let's have fun coloring. Of course, I'm using the Stampin' Blends, right? Yes, thank you, Jeff, right, Ian? Um, I said, you can watch whatever you want on the TV. So he had, um, I forget what he had on. He was doing Christmas stuff, and he had, let me zoom down a little bit. He had football game on. I don't do football, so. And then half the time, he's like, I don't need anything on. So we just jibber jabber. Okay, so let's get started because I've done enough jibber jabbering. So this is the light seaside spray and I am just going to go around my little people here and there, not everywhere. And what this does is it's just going to um, not trick your eye, but I mean it because there's a sky behind them. So by putting that blue, it's just going to make there be like like a um, sky back there. All right, then on the bottom, so that they're not floating, you always want to ground your little people. So I'm using the light going gray, just quick. So now they're grounded. They're on the they're sitting on the ground, and now the fun part. All right, so then I have light pool party, and I'm going to. Um, make their eyes come to life. So I'm going to add a little bit here. So it's just going to give their eyes just a little bit of color. And then the little, um, I had colored him originally as a parrot. And I'm like, oh, he's not a parrot. I forget now what kind of bird he is, but he wasn't a parrot. All right. So then I always add cute, cute little cheeks. Anyone that follows me for any length of time, except I grab the dark flirty. So I want the light flirty. So we're going to give little cheeks for my little critters. Let's see, the bear, light flirty, even on his belly. Cute, cute. I'm even going to add some light flirty on the knees. A little bit on the neck and then I will come back with more all right now this little ostrich she's a foxy little ostrich and I'm gonna give her some sexy legs so I'm going to let me scoot down just a tad so you can see can you see a little better if I scoot down just a little bit so then I'm gonna put this is light pool party and then Oh, it's a toucan. That's right, Anne. Oh my gosh. And I'm also going to put a little bit here and a little bit underneath here. I love the light pool party with the flirty. If you just use a little bit. I'm also putting some here on the cute little bird. Now, of course, these colors may not even be accurate for these animals, but that's what I'm using. All right, so then I'm gonna take that light and come back up. Now these almost to me look like sexy little stockings. And then I thought, ooh, by leaving that line, you could almost draw like a dark line and then they would look like those sexy pantyhose. Just think if you colored like some lines and make it look like there was um, pantyhose. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, then I'm gonna take my, oh, what color? Um, I used light poppy parade and then that was light flirty flamingo. Now I'm doing the dark petal pink. So I'm coming up with the dark petal pink and I love blending these colors together. So same with here on the bear, with the light petal pink and I do go over the flirty flamingo a little bit. You still see the pink but it just softens it a tad. Okay. Then, then we want the light petal pink. Now when I was coloring, I had quite a few to do. So that is one thing I'm going to change in regards to my classes in the mail. Because now for the last couple years, I've I always put like one finished card in there for you to copy from. But now since I've been doing more videos, I'm going to go back to the old way that I used to do it, where you get a PDF with the supplies used. And then I'm going to give you a link to a video. 
So then you can actually watch me finish the card instead of just looking at a finished one. So just because, and I love, 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 love that my, my class attendance is growing. I mean, that just makes my heart go pitter patter, but it also makes me, um, oh, thanks for sharing me, um, Diana. Um, but it also makes for a lot of, um, sitting and coloring and I do love to sit and color, but, um, It'd be a lot easier for me to teach you in a video than for me to sit in color. I won't even tell you how many um, one finished card to go in each packet. So I'm going to go back to the old style and I will explain that in the email for sure. All right. So this is Granny Apple Green, dark Granny Apple Green. Thanks, Debbie. I mean, I, I was hesitant about doing it, but I mean, I, that's how I used to do it. And then... I wasn't doing as many videos, so then I was like, well, I'll just put a finished card in there, which was all in good, but it's just gotten almost a little bit more than I can handle, and I thought, hey, I'm already doing videos now, and to me, I'm a visual person, so to me, to learn with a video is a lot easier, so I hope that's the same for everybody. All right, now this is the light granny apple and I'm just going over top of the dark it will loop it will um lighten it a little bit but it still gives you that dark I do want to pop over hey sister um let's see I want to add a little bit of the dark because I lightened it just a little bit too much but now what I want to do is I'm going to take my light soft suede and that's going to be like the little toes of the turtle. But I also want to add a little bit in here. I'm just going up and I'm not coloring the whole thing in. I'm just kind of getting some lines and that's just gonna darken like where the shell goes around, you know, where the, the shell would curve around. So it's just a little bit darker on the edges. So it's just subtle, but it, like sometimes you'll see things in, I love the ostrich too. Um, sometimes you'll just see stuff on a card and you don't even know what you're seeing, but, and that's what it is. All right. So while I have my light, um, soft suede out, I'm going to color the little monkey in. So this is the light soft suede. And I'm just going to color his whole body with the light. And I'm kind of going like around in circles. And even though it dries, like you don't have the lines like you would if you use like a Stampin' Rate marker, like you could never color like this with a Stampin' Rate marker. Don't forget his ears. So, you know, even though you don't really see those circles, sometimes it does leave, sometimes a little bit, and it looks cool. And I think it's just because some of it has a little more of the marker on it than other. So that's why I like to color in the circles. Oh, and I forgot to color the little monkey's ears with the pink. So I'll go back to that. And then don't forget that little piece there. Okay. So that was the dark. And now I'm going to take, I mean, that was the light. The ostrich. Oh my gosh. She is so, so cute and just so flirty. I mean, doesn't it look like she's looking at the bear like, Hey, good looking. So that's why I was like, those stockings are just so cute on her. All right, so here it's a dark, soft suede. Now, I'm just kind of going like lines because I do want to give it almost that it looks a little bit like hair. So I'm just putting a little bit. Like, he's a monkey, right? He doesn't comb his hair, so he's a little ragtag. All right, then I'm just going to go back with the light, and that will soften just some of them up just gives him a little bit of a wild look to him. All right. Yes, I love to tell stories about my little critters. All right, then I have um, the dark pool party. Now the dark pool party is gonna come on this little toucan. And I'm gonna draw a little line here for his little beak and 
fill that in. And that's all I used for the dark pool party. And then I have, this is the dark mango. So this is gonna be on his beak. So he gives him that um, toucan color, so to speak. Let's see, I'm gonna put a little yellow here. Now I didn't do that on the original, but I am gonna put a little bit of yellow there. And I said I forgot about the little, I forgot the bear's ear too, and I forgot the little monkey's ear. There's always something that I forget, all right. Then we have, let's see, what else do I have? I have the ostrich. So she is doing the, I use the dark smoky slate. And I'm just getting a little bit. So she's just kind of ragtaggy. And I don't know if this is necessarily the proper color for an ostrich. But that's what I chose and then color a little bit and then so that was the light in the dark smoky slate then I take the light gray granite and kind of fill in so she's kind of like these three different colors but what I want to do is I want to take the dark where's my dark where is my dark so that was dark, smoky slate. Oh, you know what I did? Oh, Diana, you turd. Okay, hang on a minute. All right, here's dark, smoky slate. I wondered why that didn't look so dark. Okay, so I had um, dark gray granite and light gray granite. And I wanted to start with the dark. So see? Much better. That's why I love these markers. You cannot mess it up. So now she has that dark around her edge. So that makes her pop just a little bit. So that was dark and light, smoky slate. And usually I just use the light gray granite, but this time I use both and hey, didn't mess it up at all. All right, so I also wanna use the dark smoky slate for my toucan. We do have a basic black and it's really, really dark. So um, you wanna, be super careful when you use it. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. All right, so there's the little guy. So I didn't use it before, but let me get the light basic black. And this is just a, like you can, I always kind of go like this, but I had my colors out. So see how dark that is? So you just want a little bit. So it is kind of cute, because then it just adds that darkness, but you just, less is more. With, with the black. Okay, and then I forgot a nose too of the bear. So this is just a dark smoke or smoky slate and the dark gray granite. They go good together. And then I just have to color my bear in. So he's really, really easy. Because I'm just using bronze. Bronze is one of my favorite blends. If it's one of the original that we had. Um, bronze and ivory. And they're great um, skin color colors. Um, but it's just such a, a gorgeous chocolatey brown. And I just loved it on the bear. And you could have the bear be you know, any color, but I just wanted them all to be their own distinctive color. So they didn't, um, like, you know, cause the monkey's right on top of the bear. So I didn't want to color the monkey the same size as the same color. So this is the same thing. I'm going around in these circly um, motions so that when it dries, you almost can see there's like some highlights and low lights just because of this wiggly of the marker. And then up. So usually what I do is when I'm, I don't wanna go over, I kinda of go outline that, just so I don't accidentally get some of the bronze on my ostrich. Let's 
but isn't this the cutest? So tomorrow I will show the Christmas card for the October. And that again is going to be over in my YouTube and that will be a YouTube live. And then don't forget his ears. And then I usually just go around his eye. These markers are just, they're, they're not foolproof because you, you definitely can, you can boo-boo or whatever, but they're just so forgiving. I can't tell you how many I have gone through because there's certain colors I use all the time. I have a stash set away. All right. So I always have. So I'm just going to give some squiggles. And then they'll just kind of sink in, but they'll just subtly be there. So the bear has a little bit of a look. All right. So how cute. Isn't that the cutest? Cutest, cutest. All right. So let that sit aside. So I also stamped on the inside. No, it's up to you if you color on the inside. You know, it doesn't take too long. So I'm just going to use the... Um, what you call it? Bronze again. Doesn't take too awfully long. So today, can you see? I have a long sleeve shirt on. So it was pretty cold this morning. Except now, whoo! Under the lights, I am cooking. I am cooking for sure under these lights. I'll be, I feel like those cooks you see on TV and they're sweating and I'm always like, oh my gosh, if they are sweating in people's food, how can you eat that? But anyways, all right. And then I'm going to use the light in the dark granny apple. So just quick, just a little bit on the top and down the center. And like I said, when I send an email, I'll explain better on the change of the classes. But those of you that did classes before, you're going to be like, hey, you know, that's just how you used to do it. All right. I know I'm a visual learner. When people try to explain things to me just like by talking, oh, it's hard for me. So I'm sure I'm not the only one. All right. Do, do, do. Almost done. And then if you want, you could do the same thing. Take your, and I should have done this first, but these markers aren't as big of a deal. Like you would never do this with another marker because it would pull color out. But this way it gives that look of the blue sky around the tree you can even add some color to the writing if you want let's see let me get i'll get the men the um let's see that's mel and mom but what am i trying to pick here we go i'm gonna pick the magenta madness because then it will go with the cardstock nice and juicy yeah the markers i love these markers okay so i'm gonna take the dark and I'm just going to go and you have to make that noise when you do it. So we've got happy, happy birthday. And then I'm going to do the green and you don't have to do this. It just adds a little bit of color in there. Just some, some funky color. And then, happy birthday from all of us. Okay, so let's put the card together, get the markers out of the way. One million markers in the way. All right, I'm also using, oh look, look what I found. Uh, all right, so 
let me get the ribbon. Now the ribbon I'm using is actually the ribbon that goes with the DSP. So this is the Flowers for Every Season ribbon. There's like three different ribbons in the um, pack. All right. So everybody got their ribbon too. So what they'll do is they'll, you know, take the ribbon because I gave them a strip. They'll just go like this with it. They'll trim it. Then they'll take their glue dots. So see, won't this be a lot easier to explain than just looking at a finished card? Yes, sorry. All right, so then this goes on here. Now, most people know that I kind of do these um, fake little bows. All right, so that goes on there. That goes on there. Now, if you're worried that that's going to come up, you can take some scotch tape and just take a little bit of scotch tape. No one knows it's back here. Just to reinforce it if you're worried, you know, if someone's going to mess with it or whatever. So then I'm going to take my stamp and seal and I'm going to attach it to my mango. So I'm attaching this first before I add the bow because now this will be solid on the card. It will sit nice and solid. If I were to add the bow and you would tighten the bow, then that card stock would buckle, right? Because nothing was holding it still. All right, I also wanna put this on the inside and see how the blends bleed through. So that's why it's always um, nice to have like the colored cardstock as the main card because then you can decorate the inside and you don't see that bleed through. All right, so there's the inside. Then I'm gonna take my little cute critters and I'm going to attach them with dimensionals. Now I'm gonna avoid the center this time because there's a ribbon in there. So I don't want it sticking to the ribbon. So I'm just gonna put three on the top, three on the bottom. Get those off of there. Let me come up a little bit. And then I'm going to glue this off to the side just a tad and then so this is how I do it I do it from the spool now everybody in class they got like a piece of ribbon but it's still the same same length but I do it off the spool so they get probably more than they need but this way it allows me to not waste any ribbon all right then I'm just going to tie that and then I know, okay, that's good. And then I can go cut and then I can finish. So that way you're wasting less ribbon by cutting it from the spool. All right, so then we have my little tails and then I'm just going to cut them like that. I didn't even fishtail them, it's just so cute. But look at how cute the card is. Isn't that fun? So here is the card that I was looking at as I colored. So they look pretty similar, I think. No card is ever identical, but they look pretty similar. This one, I didn't color on the inside. So it's just, it's totally up to how you wanna do it. But, so isn't that super, super cute? So like I said, tomorrow for my What You Making Wednesday, um, in YouTube, I will be showing the Christmas one for the month of October. Um, I'm trying to decide what to do for November. So November will be the last month. Here is, I always, um, I shouldn't say I forget to mention, because I usually try not to, but there's the hostess code. If you need anything for the month of October, please use that. If you don't have a demonstrator, I really appreciate it. Okay, so let me go back to what I was talking about. I'm trying to decide for November. So November will be the last month um, for the Christmas card class. 
because December is too late. You should already have them in the mail. So this month was the Don't Stop Believing. Um, so that's what I'll show tomorrow. And I used the little fun little elf. So I'm going back and forth. I, I'm very tempted, and I've done it in the past, that I use the same set as I used in October for November. Just use a different card. Because the stamp set is adorable. Because I still have these other two cute um, images. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm debating on. I have a couple days to decide. Um, but then with the Mary Moose is back. But I'm just like, I'm just so loving, you know, this set. So anyway, so that's what I've been contemplating. What I'm going to decide on. And then November for the seasonal card... I'm going back and forth between Loyal Leaves, which is gorgeous, and the Pampered Pets. So same thing, two, you know, two totally different. So anyway, so those are what I'm thinking. Da, 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 da. This is just a cling, you know, this has a die with it. So, you know, but anyways, isn't it so nice that, wouldn't it be nice if every buddy just had little easy, simple decisions to make like that? Wouldn't that world be, we, the world would be grand for sure. But anyways, okay, so I'm going to flip it, the camera. Flip, flip, flip. There I am. Um, so just, if you have any, oh, Pamper pets. But Vicky, Vicky's in Canada. So I love your opinion. But, you know, it has to be in the States for me. <laughs> but anyway, so those are the, the, the stamp sets that I'm trying to decide on for November. And I have a couple of days before I am going to announce those. But, um, but anyways, but thank you for joining me today for my cute. Oh, I love, I just love these. I just hope um, that stamp sets, that stays for a little bit. They're they're totally totally fun fun to color, but um so anyways I will um say see you later and hopefully I will see you tomorrow, um two o'clock in my YouTube live for my What You Making Wednesdays and I like I said I will show the Don't Stop Believing card so um I'll say have a great night and thanks for joining me bye for now.